Researchers at the University of Toronto Mississauga have identified an enzyme in ants that determines if they are soldier ants or food gatherers. First Local's Tamara Baluja has more on what this could mean for the human race and those struggling with their weight. Biologists at UTM have discovered a gene that tells ants to beat their swords into plowshares. Professor Marla Sokolowski and researcher Christoph Lucas have studied a foraging gene in Feodol polydula ants, which are found in France. There are two kinds of ants, majors who act as soldiers and minors who act as food gatherers. A soldier is very large. It has these gigantic mandibles that can cut things and bite things and it's good for defending the, the ant nest when there's intruders. Those intruders could be members of another colony of ants coming into your colony. And the gatherers are tiny little ants, they don't have these mandibles, and they just run around gathering food and bringing it back to the nest. The ants become soldiers or food gatherers depending on what they have been fed as larvae. But changes in a certain enzyme called PKG, made by a particular gene, allow adult ants to take on new roles. So they have different jobs in, in, in this society and they mostly do their jobs. Soldiers are soldiers and food gatherers are food gatherers. But when there's a stressful situation, like the, the prey item is too big or intruders come in, then the behavior becomes a little more flexible and the most flexible guy in this case is a soldier. In such situations, soldier ants become food gatherers, breaking down the prey into more smaller manageable pieces. Minor ants, however, cannot take on defensive roles in the ant colony. Sokolowski believes that this behavioral change in ants can be used to understand food-related disorders in humans as we share the same foraging gene. And we're finding with one of these that the DNA sequences um, in the foraging gene might be different between different people that suffer from one of these disorders. Although the data is still in preliminary stages, Sokolowski believes there are possibilities for treatments down the line. In Mississauga, Tamara Baluja, First Local. Coming up after the break is entertainment news. And this week we 